Well, guess what? Well, one, my light is not working over there. And two, I got all done uh, replacing the axle seals and the bearings in the back there on each side. And I went to start filling it with fluid, and my pinion seal started leaking there. <coughs> I didn't notice it before because, well, there was no fluid in the diff. It all leaked out the, uh, the axle seals over here. So I didn't see it, but I got about uh, two quarts in and noticed it was leaking. So now if I can get my light that I broke to work, well, uh, a little bit, but uh, let's see if I can get a good shot of the pinion. Right there, that seal is leaking. So what I have to do is take the drive shaft off, and then there's a there's a nut in there I got to take off, and then I can take that. Uh, that little flange off and I can replace the seal. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take off that drive shaft, clean up this uh, uh, floor dry stuff, and then uh, show you how I'm going to go ahead and do it. Alright, I've got the uh, drive shaft off. And as you can see, I've marked it so I know which way it goes back on. Now, there's that nut that I have to remove, but uh, how you're supposed to do this is take an inch pound torque wrench, put it on that, a beam style inch pound torque wrench, put it on that nut, take the uh, the wheels and the drums off and spin it and measure how much force it takes to keep that uh, to keep that differential spinning in there and that is the reading you're supposed to take and when you put it back together you're supposed to put that uh, tighten that nut until you get the same reading now that being said, I don't have a beam style inch pound torque wrench. So what I'm going to have to do is mark where everything is with this nice little line I got. Mark the nut and the pinion and the flange. And then when I go back and measure right here between uh, the nut and the end, of the, the end of the pinion so I know how far down that nut goes. And when I put it back together, I've got to tighten that nut until all the lines line up and I get the same measurement basically across here. Now that's not uh, I guess the proper way to do it but that's the way I'm going to have to do it because I don't have the right tool. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and zing that nut off now now that I've got everything marked and then I can uh, pull this flange out and replace the seal. Well I've got the uh, nut and the flange off and uh, looking at this thing I'm pretty sure you can see those on camera but they're pretty big grooves um, I'm not liking that there is a parts ranger I can steal parts from if I need to so I may go down there pull that one off and see if it's any better than this because uh, that could very well be why it's leaking I'll crawl down under the car and show you the seal uh, here's what it looks like when it's all taken apart not much to see but uh, I got all my lines still lined up so we're good there um, I'm going to yank that sucker out and then uh, hopefully we'll get a new one of those and then uh, if we have to I'll get another flange and uh, make it work well I went uptown and I got my new seal and I also went over and got the uh, other flange off that other truck it has grooves as well, but they're not nearly as deep as the old one. Uh, the old one, they, you catch your finger, fingernail on them pretty good. This one, not as much. So I'm going to go ahead and swap to the other flange and put in the new seal, and uh, hopefully it won't leak. Alright, I got the uh, seal on, I got the flange in, and I got the nut back in place. Uh, I've also filled it with fluid, and uh, I don't see any coming out of the pinion. Uh, seal there, so I think we're good. You know, if I had the proper tool, I would have done it the proper way, but uh, I did it how I could, so hopefully it'll be all right and this will work good. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw that other tire on, tighten her up, drop her down, top off the fluid, and then uh, see how she works. 